humans, even any, any, anybody with any type of morality would do anything that they could to help save children. So we're going to fight, and we're going to fight, and we're going to fight lawmakers and anybody that we have to, to in constantly just educate people on how serious this is. It's not just children that need it. There's, there's veterans with PTSD. Um, there's patients with cancer, Crohn's disease, depression, severe anxiety. I've seen, I've seen so many people helped. And I've seen it help so many people, and I, I know so many people that need it, and there's so many people fighting. And, and the people that are fighting for this are sick. They're patients, um, they're parents, and they need everybody's help collectively to educate as many people as possible. If, you, if you'd like to ask me any questions, I'm always, always up to ask questions. I mean, answer questions. I'm always up for speaking at events if anybody needs it, because it's, it's, a, serious, it's a serious issue. My family is extremely conservative. Um, so when we found out that marijuana was something that was going to help them, my family was like, oh my God, you can't give that to her. How could you give that to her? And I explained to them and I educated them. And now my 80-year-old grandparents are educating their 80-year-old brothers and sisters. And now their brothers and sisters are educating and they're all behind us for it. So it's extremely important that you just ask people to listen. There's going to be always those, those naysayers that don't want to hear it. There's always going to be people against it. But as long as you just tell people that it helps, and explain to them how it helps, you might just change your mind. She's changed thousands and thousands of outlooks on this on this um, topic. She's changed so many people. And everybody's always like, you and your family are so strong. She's she's honestly the one that's the strong one. I mean, 400 seizures a day. Last month, we stopped counting at over 1,000. She had 1,000 seizures in one day. So I don't know. Uh, we don't, we can't, people are like, you know, why don't you just move? Are we going to move the entire state of Pennsylvania to another state just to make sure that they can have medication? I mean, it's, it's absurd. It's not going to happen. And I know there's a lot of people behind us and a lot of people behind their family members that are going to fight here until we get it here. We shouldn't have to move somewhere else to be medicated. Tell me that if a child is state over is allowed to be medicated, but my child isn't as important. So we're going to make you move to another state or we're going to put you in jail for saving your child's life. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so we really need your support. Everybody needs your support on this topic. If you could reach out to your state reps, anybody, and let them know how important it is to pass SB3 and get it through to the House for a vote now. We're really close. Thank you to Pittsburgh Normal and everybody for taking our story in. Guys, give him a give him a big hand, please. Come on. Thank you, Jess. Maya, so much. Really appreciate you coming out. Once again, check out the city paper this week. If you have not read the story, give it a read. It is worth your time. If you have read it, you know what we're talking about. Thank you so much again for sharing your story. We love you guys. We are always here to support. That's what Pittsburgh Normal does. Follow us on Facebook. Go over and get a membership. Help us fight the fight. Thank you. We'll be back with music in 10 minutes.